How long have we been working in this community? And what have we got to show? Nothing. That's a bit harsh. We do have something. But it isn't working. And what we've got is nothing. Well, nah, it works. Let's not beat ourselves up too much. It works. It, it just needs improvement. I'm glad you think it's working. Because I certainly don't. And when I say I, I'm talking about my whole congregation. Upwards of 400 people. It's not working for them. And what are they doing about it? Preaching to themselves. So, Myers, what's the solution? I don't know. The people out there aren't buying what we're selling. And we know our product is good. Mm. We're good salesmen. Yeah. But they aren't buying. Well, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So, our job is just to lead? No, our job is to make them know they're thirsty. And if they don't drink up soon, they'll die of thirst. I was asked to meet a lady today. Uh, she's suffering. She's thirsty, but she doesn't want to talk to me. I mean, how do I make her drink? You can't make her drink. You have to just show her the water. You can make her drink. You just have to convince her she's thirsty. We obviously belong to different churches. Same church, different planet. But that kind of talk's going to get us nowhere. <laughs> no change there, then.
works to me. You Porter. Precious? Pre. Oh, I thought your name was Precious. It is. I just never use it. Of course, of course. Wow, I thought you'd be uh, younger. I thought you'd be older. Touche. You've not done this before, have you? No. Uh, but I graduated last month. You know? I came first to my class, so... I shouldn't be here. No, you should. I'm glad you came. <sighs> Overset the mark. Bad start. And for your tummy. You are killing your father. Show some respect. If not for your family, then for yourself. Oh. Sorry, brothers, eh? <laughs> um, I can thump him in the corridor. Hakeem, why? Dad has given up so much so we can have a better life. And you are going to send him to an early grave. This has nothing, nothing to do with me. <laughs> nothing to do with you. Of course it's nothing to do with you. Nothing is ever anything to do with you. That's the problem. And we always have to clean up your mess. My family's weak and will not defend themselves. How can I respect that? I need to get back to work. If I can't understand you, I'm gonna have to talk to you. No, Kitty, no. That's not the way it works. We have everything. We have everything. Are you sure? We've checked three times. We have everything. There's nothing wrong with your father, Sheikh Nam. He's dying. He has a broken heart. Akeem is so selfish. You know, I've tried... It's you. Me? He has been laying in that bed for three months now. He's no use to anyone. And his wife, sitting next to his side, and she can't even speak a word of English. And his Neanderthal son, prowling the streets at night, trying to defend a postcode. We can't even sleep safely in our beds. And you're telling me that Dad's worried about me? Call me later. Trust me, I'm fine. Call me later anyway. <sighs> Olha só, depois vem falar que mulher é que dirige mal. Mommy box. What? I didn't swear. He loves you. Oh yeah, yeah. I love him too. Okay, you are at least five pounds. Okay. I'm not swearing, I'm praying. You'll be fine. I'm not praying for me, I'm praying for them. It's a done deal, a no-brainer. The people I work for have no brains. Jackson, I don't need a chaperone, so if you're not going to help me put away the shopping, go tidy your room. I am helping. Besides, my room's already tidy. Well, Andre's tidying it. Go upstairs and help him. Mummy! 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 There's a man coming down the path, and it's not Daddy. It's probably just the postman dumps head. Postman wear red, moron. Um, what if I told you both about calling each other names? Now stop it! No one's knocked our door, so it's probably not our house he's looking for. Told you! Jackson's finished putting away the shopping. Me. And there was something I forgot to mention. No, you, you shouldn't be here. You can't this be here. This won't take long. No, go away. Okay, I'm going. But you need to know you have nothing to fear. God will get you through this. Come and talk to us. We have resources. We can help. The church? Yeah. 
was I thinking? I tried talking to your church and I waited 13 years, eight months, five weeks and three days to be heard. No one was listening. No one cared or could be bothered to listen to the pleas and sobs of a pubescent little girl. Hello, precious. Hey, Daddy. Heart pounding fear. Body screaming, protect me. Mind pleading, look after me. I wanted to talk, but no one was listening. Frank. Okay, um, your salesman pretend to be selling me something. What? Sell me something. We don't buy from door salesmen. Your wife was just telling me. But I mean, I'd love to... We don't buy from door salesmen. Come on, inside. The plan estimates the RPI over the five years of development and construction will continue with the 3.4%. Our commitment of $2 million each year will deliver a turnover of $3.5 million per year and yield the 7.3%. Now, we know that... Hold on there, Miss Sabatini. Your numbers can't be substantiated. You're assuming inflation will remain at 3.4% over a five-year period. In a third world economy? Based on what? Those people will start a civil war over access to drinking water. The 3.4% is based on their own government figures. <laughs> Does anyone in their government even have an A level in economics? <laughs> I foolishly assumed that you would have read the proposal prior to the presentation. You're asking Febru to spend a lot of money. We're asking that it is secure. The plan tells you it is secure. The figure shows you it is secure. It's underwritten by the indigenous government. You can't get more secure. Unless, of course, it was a man leading the project. O'Sullivan failed in DRC. He failed in Nigeria. What about Mallor? He nearly buried us in Miami. And where is he right now? Sitting right across from me, in the boardroom, judging on things that he knows nothing about. You know what? I'm done. Nicola, stay away from me, Marcia. Every word I said in there is true. You know it, and they know it. What's wrong with her? She's a loose cannon. I can't work with her. She's got to go. That went well. I thought you could use a drink. But I see you've already had one. Or three. Don't lecture me, Marcia. I'm not in the mood. You're going to have to apologise. That's not going to happen. You know I'm right. No one, no one, Marcia, not Sullivan, not Mallard, no one can do what I do. Being right isn't the most important thing. You taught me that. The most important thing is getting the job done, whatever it takes. What are they doing? This is too much. When you woke up this morning, this wasn't the way you saw the day panning out, I'm sure. How can I do it, Gloria? I had enough. So you're just gonna walk out? Well, you came down here to fire me, don't you? Evans came down here to fire you. Evans isn't here. You've got a choice. You can either walk out the door with nothing but your ego 
or you can go back in there and try to salvage what's left of your career. But Gloria is... I don't want to hear it. I'm done. There's plenty of companies out there that would kill to have me on board. Gloria threw you a lifeline. You think I should go back in there? I think you should get the job done. How long have we been working in this community? And what do we have to show? Nothing. We could put on all the concerts and programs we like. They have no impact on the people out there. It works, you know. What we have, it works. Let's not beat ourselves up about it. You know, we just need some improvement. I'm glad you think it's working, because I certainly don't. And when I say I, I'm talking about my whole congregation, upwards of 400 people. It's not working for them. And what are they doing about it? Preaching to themselves. So my, what's the solution? I don't know. The people out there aren't buying what we are selling. And our product is good. And we're good preachers. But they aren't buying. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So we're supposed to lead? No, our job is to make them know they're thirsty. They don't drink up, it's gonna make them die of thirst. Good point. I mean, I was asked to talk to a lady today who is suffering. She's thirsty, but she doesn't want to talk to me. I mean, how do I make her drink? You can't make her drink. You have to show her the water. Of course you can make her drink. You just got to convince her she's thirsty. We obviously belong to different churches. Same church, different planet. Yeah, that kind of talk is going to get us nowhere. No change there, then. supposed to be afraid of you. What was that all about? Excuse me, miss. Not now. Come on, upstairs! Look, I know you never asked, but I think you're looking for the wrong woman. with the reverend today. What reverend? I thought you'd send me a priest or a, a, a man of stature. A man of stature is not what you need. What you need is a man of God. Yeah. <laughs> he came to my house. Didn't I tell you to meet him at the hospital? I did. We spoke there, then he followed me here. And we got on fine. But how naive can he be? I'm not doing that again. He could have got me killed. There's people out there that need you. There's people out there that love you, Pri. That moron don't love you. He doesn't need you. He's just out to destroy you. No one's gonna destroy me. Look at my boys, I'm here for them. You think they're stupid? They're just gonna think this is all normal. Oh. So what are you saying? That I should leave him? 
and what's that teaching my sons? That they must run away at the first sign of trouble. I know you care, Anthea, but you haven't got a husband, so you have no idea what the stakes are. Assalamu alaikum, my sister. Assalamu alaikum. Pace. How can you two greet me with pace? Sajma. This is our community. This is where we live. This is our home. Sajma. No. I am done talking to you. I've tried talking to you. So now I'm talking to them. You don't talk to them. I talk to them. They don't respect you. Not until you're prepared to fight for it. And what is respect, Akeem? Is it your community and your peers all looking at you like you're something to aspire to? Old age pensioners cowering with fear because you lot are throwing bricks at their door every night. That ain't how you get respect. So, how many of those have you had? She's only my third. Yeah, and the rest. Well, I've got to keep my strength up. I've got a big night plan. You think you're the only Adonis south of the river? I'm the hottest thing in Catford, me. <laughs> yeah, right. But that's after the Vindaloo. Oh, very hurtful of us, Simon. Still, I shall not be deterred. I shall keep my mind focused on the game ahead. I thought you said Barbara wasn't letting you anywhere near her at the moment. No, this isn't Barbara. She's away with her sister for a couple of days. No, this is Jacintha. We used to go to primary school together. We looked up on Facebook last week. What? And you think that... It's a dead cert, mate. So no arrest tonight, please. I ain't got time for no paperwork. You boys are a long way from home. That's funny. Coming from a bunch of packies. What do you want? We told him we don't want him round our end selling this junk. We want our money back too, son. Yeah? What do you think this is? Marks and Spencers? No refund, boys. You know that. There's no reason in with these people, Ed. Look, yeah, my man didn't mean you no know, disrespect or nothing. We were just chilling. He's been on the brew, so... Hey, that's, that's Budgie's girl. <laughs> when he finds out you've been hanging around with these people now. These people? Let's do it! You know what, he just wants to do this, boys. Look, we don't want no trouble, all right? And I'm not Budgie's girl anymore. You can tell your Don that me and his sister will get your money, all right? And we'll be out of your space. How do you just respect me like that, hey? Hey! What is it with you people? Everywhere you turn up, there's trouble. Well? Can we sort this out here? Or do I have to call the meat wagon? Why can't we all just get on? Let's roll the clock back a couple of hours, shall we? You're all sat back at home, round your dining room table. My advice to you is to stay there. Because if I see any of you lot out tonight, you're all sleeping down at the station.
We're taking you home. Right, where to, Batman? Croydon. Croydon? Don't worry, we'll be quick. You have a nerve, Frank Simon. I haven't heard from you for over six months. No phone calls, no text, no email, nothing. And you think it's okay to come up here in the middle of the night asking for favors? She's your sister. I haven't seen her for five years. And how you knew where to find her is a whole separate question. Oh my God, Frank. You've been seen, Tony? No. Then what? She practically lives on the streets. I work the streets. I see her. And it never occurred to you to mention that to me? Not once? You're disgusting. Where is she now? She's in the car. She's not my responsibility. She's going down the drain. Her fault, not mine! No! When we get everything that we want, sometimes we find that it's not what we wanted. She's out there alone. The streets will kill her. She's not alone, Frank. You will protect her. Who will protect me? Is there no good in you? I was good once, Frank. Then I met you. So sorry. I'm gonna change. Not for you, not for my wife, not for Tony, but because it's the right thing to do. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Um, it's all sorted, though. We're going in. It's not going to work. It's going to work. No. Don't mess this up, OK? It's not going to work, but... I'll, I'll come and see you soon. Right, whatever. Whatever. OK, let's go. We're going in. Whatever. Two secs, yeah? Spilling of blood ever change? What does it bring peace? It just brings suppression, oppression, and most of all, more war. It's true in the East and true in the West. And we're still fighting. <laughs> we're nothing more but rats on a treadmill. What is it that drives us to kill each other? What is it that I need? What is it that you need? What is it that we all need that is so important that we are willing to kill and to be killed for it? It isn't security, it isn't money. It's respect. My father lies dying simply because he can't get the respect of his peers. Akeem is a tortured soul. 
You know, he only has a white girlfriend because he knows that white gangs will hate it. You're talking about everyone else, Sergi. What about you? Do you respect? You have to earn it. I took it from the streets. You didn't know me then. I hated everyone and everything. I even hated myself. Isn't that crazy? I would disrespect myself to earn respect from other people. It was a hard lesson to learn. And I still have scars. But I have a brain. And I'm educated. And I have this job and I'm saving people's lives. And do you think they respect me? <laughs> they don't even notice me. God notices you. God. God. Your Christian God. Your God that condones the killing of innocent children and women in the East, but condemns the same killing in the West. God does not condone the killing of innocent children women and children. He does not condone the killing of anyone. That is not true. You can't lie to me, Steve. You can't lie to me and then expect me to respect you. You know, tonight I came here for the truth and you can't even give me that. You know, it's all lies, all your Christian propaganda. Politicians are full of it, preachers are full of it. At least in the streets, I know where I stand. So well, you've got it all wrong. Serge, if you want to hear the truth, you must listen. I didn't say anything about preachers or politician. I said God. If I was head of state, head of parliament, Head of the church, whoever I am. If you want to hear about God, go to God. And this is where you'll find him. There is only one God, and that is Allah. And I will not find him in your Bible. Unfortunately, it's not only politician and Preachers that lie, other people lie too. But I'll tell you one thing, the God of my Bible, the God of Abram, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob is the same father of Abram you call Allah. Brandon, that's all it is. We kill and hate each other for a brand. But the bigger liars are the one who want to own the brand for themselves. Take my God, God of heaven, or whatever you want to call him. I'll guarantee you there have been no wars and we'll all come to find the respect and the significance we seek. This is so unprofessional. I owe you big time. Oh, I don't just work for you, we're friends. Let me give you some things. Oh, don't, don't be ridiculous. How many times have you got me out of a jam? I just didn't realise you had a sister. When my mother married her father, she came as part of the package. We fought from the day one. We never stopped fighting, I guess. I haven't seen her for five. She's welcome to stay as long as she needs.
about a minute. Just wondered if we were ready to meet with the Tanzanians, or if there's anything I can do. Tell Evans to see if O'Sullivar and Mallor are ready. We spoke on this yesterday. We will speak on this today. We will not speak on this tomorrow. Do you understand? It's not important if you look at me as a token woman, a doormat, or a brown nose. What is important is that I am on the board. I sit in a chair that one day you will want to sit in. First thing you need to learn is that you can't fight every battle. Pick the ones you have a chance of winning. I'm a woman in a man's company and in a man's world. So we capitulate? Didn't say those words. It's time for them to show me some respect. My door is always open and you have my number. I'm dead. It's Tony. Where? <laughs> Didn't see her. Just saying it's her while you're dying. It's clearly obvious. So what did you do? Oh, it's not what you think. Okay, it's what you think, but it's not the way you're thinking. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. I know exactly what you're talking about. He clearly needs an alibi. Don't worry, bro. We're here for you. I don't need an alibi. I just need some advice. You tell us the dream, we'll tell you the interpretation. What? What do you need advice about, man? I was with Gita last night. <sighs> Thought you were your woman? I was, but I took her back to where she was staying, and four o'clock in the morning, Gita phoned me up. You dog. She was crying. I went round, things got out of hand, but I didn't touch her. So, what's the problem? Well, she's trying to call me now. Can't get through. Tony rang me, she said she's coming to see me now. What's all that? Well, I think Gita told Tony. What, that you didn't touch her? Well, I didn't. Didn't what? You said you didn't touch her. I didn't. Didn't what? Say that or touch her? Touch her. <laughs> so she'd be lying then? Yes. So what's the problem then? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it wasn't like that. Yet. It wasn't like that. Clearly. So why do you need her advice, man? What? Do I tell Tony or not? Tell her what? That after you took her home, went to your other woman's house. But don't worry, nothing happens. No, you don't tell her. But if I don't tell her, and, and suppose Gita's told her, then it's just going to look like I'm hiding something. You're right. You better tell her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just tell her. Suppose she hasn't said anything, now I'm going to open my big mouth. Not you, the big mouth, though, is it, mate? <laughs> you're not funny. Look, you're not helping me, all right? I don't know what to do. Look, we said tell her, you said you can't. We said don't tell her, you said you must. You don't need us, you need an imam. <laughs> hey, baby. <gasps> told her. Oh, baby, I love you. Love? You don't know what love is, Akin. Do you know what I go through every day just to be with you? I get it from my family, I get it from your family, I get it from my community, I get it from your community, and all I ask from you is a bit of respect. And if you can't give me that, if you think you're too much of a big man, you can't even give me that, then there's nothing more to say. Now I know you put the juice back in the fridge, didn't you? No, 
Let him do it, he's got to learn. It's okay for you to despise me, Frank, but don't take it out on Jackson. Don't talk nonsense, woman. What is it about me that makes me such a loser in your eyes, Frank? Is it my heavy hips, my thick lips, or my black skin that makes me so unattractive to you? What is it about straight hair and pale skin that turns you into such a spineless wreck? You can tell me. It won't hurt me anymore when I've been hurt already. Am I just a cart horse for you to bear you children? You have to make a decision, Frank, between me and her. You need to stop. That's what you need to do. Why? Are you going to hit me? There's nothing you can do to me that hasn't been done before. Is this my father's fault? Your fault or my fault? At what point did this become abuse? Imagination? Lust? Desire? Penetration? At what point did this become an affair? Anthea says, it takes strength to stay in a marriage, but she's wrong. It takes strength to leave a marriage. Enough! No! Mum! Get upstairs, now! No! Go upstairs, Jack said. No, I'm not hiding upstairs anymore. This ends here. Yeah, we, it would have been nice if we go there. And then after, we just should... Oh. Hi. Miss Sabatini, we were hoping to discuss the Travis Core project. That was scheduled for four o'clock. We had to bring it forward, but you were out shopping. We can do it now or leave it for four as planned. No, we won't do either. Your attitude is less than we expect here at Federal Holdings. The board feel they've given you ample opportunity. Are you firing me? We'll wait while you clear your desk. I'm sorry, I didn't see you yesterday. What makes you think I was here yesterday? It wasn't me. Only you bring flowers. Thanks for the flowers. It's nothing. No. Thank you. You don't have to, but you do. It means a lot. I'm not afraid of dying, precious. But I don't want to die without your forgiveness. I hurt some special people in my time and lost them forever. I don't want to lose them for eternity. Yeah. What we would pay to turn back the hands of the clock, eh? Have you done your homework, Precious? Yes, Daddy. Well, it's time to come in. I've set the bar. Oh, no, no, no. Mummy's just a big girl now. I can do that by myself. Well, Mummy's not here. And I need to check that you're doing it properly. Oh, my God. When will it stop, Max? What demons drive men to destroy the families that God has given them to protect? The one thing in this world that they can call their own. I taught you that this behavior was normal. It's not acceptable, precious. It's not. God forgive me. How could God?
didn't fall, did you? Listen, the only number you need to be dialing is 999, all right. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Hello? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll be there in a minute. I'm sorry, can you excuse me? My father's down the hall. Yeah, we'll finish up then. Yeah, sure. Dad. Dad, I'm going to come home. I want to sort of be a family again. But just give me one second. Is everything all right, miss? Can I sit here? Sure. That's why we have the benches. You know what? Right now I need a smart aleck. Like I need a hole in the head. Forgive my colleague. It was his insensitive attempt at an icebreaker. May I sit down? That's why you have the benches. Forgive me being insensitive, but you clearly have a lot on your mind. Would you like to talk about it in the church? Or maybe stay out here and talk about it? I came to the church grounds because I thought it would be quiet. Sometimes, at the point of our deepest pain, we can't confide in our closest friends. In those times, you'd think I would go to strangers. Perhaps, but that's not what we're suggesting. When you can't turn to friends, trust in God. Is that the best you've got? He's all you need. I'm sorry, guys, but I've seen too many women put their lives on hold because they believe that some other person was going to take care of them. For some, it was the father. For some, it was the husband, and for some other, it was the boss. And when the man don't deliver, the woman is left on her own to pick up the pieces and make something of her broken life. It doesn't have to be like this. I want nothing to do with a man that starts every sentence with thou shalt not.
<sighs> Wasn't that worth it, eh? Yeah, nice. It's a good job. It's meant to be here now. Where's our money? No money. You're out of your girl and you've got no money. We'll take her for the money. Oh, don't worry, mate. We'll bring her back in the morning. Remember me fondly, Danny. <laughs> well, someone's gonna die tonight. We know that, but we don't know who <laughs> or how many. What are we gonna do, boys? You're on our turf. Whoa, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, boys. Guns. Forget about that for now. We better get going. We had to do something. Look. Take one. No one will mess with you. Come on, come on, let's go. Sorry. I love you. No. No, I'm done with this. I could have got you killed. It's okay. It's not. Guns. What, what are we doing? No more, Tony. No more. What are you doing? I'm coming in now. You've spoken to Nicola today. I need to speak to her. Why? What happened? Speak to her. Can I do it tomorrow? She no longer works at football. What? What happened? It's the middle of the night. I can't go through it all now. All right, look, look. Just go to bed and we'll go and find her in the morning. <laughs> Marcia doesn't work for Nicola anymore, so I don't have a bed. What? Well, I guess I'll just pick my stuff up in the morning then. They're packed. I'll get them.
Excuse me, miss. Oh, nice to see you again. I remember you. I hope God would. God does remember you. If God is looking out for me, why did I lose my job? Despite being the best project manager there. Why can't I even get an interview? Despite having a CV that shows they are delivering multi-million dollar projects on time, within budget. Why, when all my friends wish they had my life and my career, I can't have a man I can call my own? Can you answer me that, Pastor John Robinson? Who knows the mind of God? Nicola. That's not an answer. Perhaps God is just trying to get your attention. Alfie, I told you already, I don't want to talk about it. Pre, you're going to have to talk about it. You're going to have to leave Frank at some point. You're going to have to. Would you stop saying that? Pre. Um, you're home early. Did you cook? There's some lamb left over. I had lamb yesterday. Cook something fresh. Hi Frank. How was your day? Today was a work day. So I worked. I've come home tired and hungry. And my wife hasn't cooked because she's been entertaining. That's been pretty much my day. Entertaining? She's been looking after the children. Doing their homework. Hurry up, Pri. Gotta go. Do some barbecue chicken for when I get back. dollar project. They will pay me how much? <sighs> Even will die. <laughs> Gloria, how did you do this? I told you. Pick your battles. Decide which ones are important. Oh. Oh no. Who are you? I'm Gloria. Who is she? I said I'm Gloria. I've come to see you. Now is not a good time. What? You didn't hear me the other night, did you, Frank? You can't do this. I'm not doing this. You can't just waltz in here after six months of no contact and demand anything. So you thought what? You want me now for two hours and then nothing. That's for another six months. Why you go doing your rounds with other women? Including my younger sister. I'm tired of getting the short end of the stick. Losing my job has shown me that my priorities are all messed up. It's my wake-up call. Nicola, do not do this. Don't do this? 
I'm not doing anything that you haven't already done to me. I was a fool to think that you could respect me when I couldn't even respect myself. Go home, Frank. Go home and spend your split shift with your wife. Because your cousins blew up my city on the 7th of July 2005, I have the authority to stop, search, arrest or detain anyone I suspect of planning or participating in any kind of act of terrorism against the car and spread. No bombs, <laughs> no guns, no drugs. Ooh, what have we here? Well, that's not mine. <laughs> Frank, please. You in the back of the car now. Let him go, Frank. What? Let him go or I'll tell everybody that I saw you plant those drugs in his pocket. Get in the car. Mr. Simon, a moment of your time. What do you want? Oh, you. Where's Pri? I have no idea. And you know what? Good riddance to her. You've damaged her. She needs to be as far away from you as possible so she can heal. I thought you were a bookseller. I sell books too. Pri can talk to you or your church or any other church he chooses. But I'm telling you, stay away from my boys. I'm warning you, you go anywhere near my boys and there will be hell to pay. You know what? You can have her. I always said, a woman only turns to God when the devil has no more use for her. Mr. Simon, God can take anyone at any time. Yeah. Give me a call if you want me to come back and talk to you.
Welcome, brothers and sisters, to the house of the Lord. It is so good to see you all here, because when we are together, we are worshiping the Almighty God. You know when you leave here, you're going to be filled with His Almighty power. So I say, praise the Lord for all you wonderful people. I know pride tends to make us blind. We only want what's right in our lives. 